What's up guys? Welcome back. We got a special video today and we got a very special guest, Mr. Damien Tao. How you doing, man? Good, man. How about you, Gray? I am doing good and I'm, I'm, I'm glad we finally were able to make this happen. It's been a long time coming. Me and Damien have really wanted to try to get out on the water for a long time, just schedules and all that, you know. Basically, we live kind of far apart, right? We do, yes. You're in Fresno? Yes. Fresno, I'm in the bay, so we decided to meet right in the middle. We're at the beautiful Lake Tulloch. I've never been here. Have you you've been here a few times? I, I have, but not in the, the fall every time. I fish more during the spawn and pre-spawn here. Yeah, so we don't really know what's going on here. That's kind of the point of today's video is to slap a camera, obviously on my kayak, on Damien's kayak, and try to figure these fish out. One thing I will say, if you guys don't know who Damien is, this guy right here, last three, four years, is the best kayak fisherman in California, even maybe in the country. With your results, the amount of tournaments you fished, the finishes, the amount of money you've won, it's insane. That's crazy. How do you do it? I don't get it. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I honestly don't know either. It just Sometimes it just happens, sometimes it doesn't. Everybody has their time, and I, I feel like it was just my time during that time. Incredible to fish against you over these past few years, taking all of our money, and I'm sure you'll continue <laughs> to do it. But uh, no, man, I'm excited to get out there with you today, and uh, especially since Damien does have a YouTube channel, and he doesn't post as much. I wish he did, because I'd like to know what he's doing all the time. <laughs> but it'll be fun to put a camera on your boat and see exactly how you, uh, how you try to figure these fish out. What, what's the plan today? What are we gonna do? You know, we're just gonna run to the back of the creek channels and see if we can figure out what's going on. You know, honestly, I haven't been there in a while too. Hopefully, they're chasing bait in the back of the peaks, and hopefully, we can put something together. If not, we're just gonna go up there and have a good time. No pressure, man. No pressure. <laughs> you don't gotta catch them at all. We're just gonna go out there and have a good time. That's, all, that's what yeah. it's all about, man. All right, we'll see you guys out in the water. Do you want to fish for him or? Yeah, we can try. We can work our way back. Yep. I'm gonna let you cast first because I think it's. No, no, no. You go, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's gonna be an exciting video because you guys are. I mean, we appreciate Damien coming on the channel today, but you guys are literally gonna see the best kayak fisherman in California break down a lake. Or you're gonna see me struggle real bad to trying to find some bait, man. I see bait fish. I don't see. I don't actually see. Uh... I'm letting you call all the shots today. So you want to jam out? You just let me know. All right. I'm basically tagging along today. I'm just watching. Man, there's all sorts of kind of bait fish out here. See these bait balls right here? There's a bait ball, and then if you up scanning a little bit to the right, see there's some right there. These are some bass right there, just pushing them. Look, see all these bass. It looks like there's some good ones down there. They're all under Greg's boat. <laughs> These fish are moving pretty quick. I see them on my my ancient graph. Little blips. All right, Greg, let's keep running. Keep running? Yeah. Yeah. What's he doing? That's the depth's 250. <laughs> you gonna go catch it? Nah, I think he dove down. Let's try here real quick. Okay. I wanna see you catch one, man. I'm gonna run up here and I'm gonna drop around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, you can see the bottom right here. Yeah. Oh, it's real shallow. This depth's 250 is my Garmin Pan Optics. What a coincidence. One followed it. Three pound largemouth. Oh God, Damien. Oh man. Yeah, there's like a six down there. So these are the ones I'm looking for. They are the offshore fish that are very elusive. You know, these are generally ones you want to get a bite. They're generally better quality too. Best thing getting them to bite is the challenge.
stable. We are. <laughs> Dear friend, got it. They're going crazy. I tell you, man, the hydro is gets them popping. Some healthy one she's been chewing. Ooh, they're going right around me. Look at that. That's a good solid one right there. Good gut on her. Alright. Oh. Embarrassing first fish of the day. That ain't good. That ain't good. I can guarantee Damien's first fish of the day was not smaller than this. Big one. Eh, it was a big one. Yeah, like three pounder, I think. Finally, trying with a bunch of stuff. Finesse jig. Hmm. I'm gonna see what those fish down there are. these suckers are down there. Big old pike minnow. I don't know much about fishing, but that's a big one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look at this pike minnow. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> big old pike minnow. Slimy. Alright. So that's what's schooling down there. I guess just pike minnows. You see all that? They're not. They're just cruising around. They're not even chasing bait. They're just down there. Oh, somebody's chasing it. They're going crazy down there. See that? Oh, there we go. This one. Ugh, I almost took the rod out of my hand. What is it, another pike minnow? Feels like a big one though. Another pike minnow. Man, I can do this all day. <laughs> Giant pike minnow. Look at that thing. Look at that. Oh gosh. This is a lot of fun. Jeez. Hey Greg. I think he's calling me. What's Damien got going on over here? You guys can see all of them down there. Got another one. Ah, gosh. <laughs> Did you call me? Oh my god. What, what, what a coincidence. Damien finds the mega school of fish. What is that? They're the wrong kind of species, but man, they're a lot of fun, dude. It's a pike minnow. You're catching pike minnow over here? Yeah, squawfish, dude. There's schools of them, dude. Yo, can I have a spoon? Yeah. Dude, I caught, I already caught three in a row. Did you catch any bass yet? I caught one. Okay. Not here, but over there. You're just spooning them, huh? Oh my god, you're right. Look. Dude, you drop it down on it? Dude, they're, they're just picking. 
to go crazy for it. You see them on your grab and drop down? And like, yeah, just give it some hops and all of a sudden they start swarming it. As soon as I show up, they're all going to leave. You know that, right? <laughs> It's alright, we'll go find them if, if they leave. No, the ones the ones down over there in that channel over there, those are bass. But uh, these ones, I thought they were bass too, but the way how they're positioning, it didn't look like it, but I need to check to see what they were. I wonder if that was what was busting earlier. I wonder if it's like when the wind picked up, it schooled them up or something. Oh, you're not kidding, I got hit right there. Yeah, no, that's a fish. Oh, it was a bass, dude. Yeah. Wow. First drop. Yeah. Only made it halfway down and it something hit it. It wasn't big. I think it was a small bass. There's something. Yeah. I don't think it's a squawfish though, because it's not. I think I'm getting like little bass. Oh no, you're dude, that's a big squawfish. Never mind. How come he didn't fight? Foul hooked him. Good find, Damien. <laughs> oh, it's a five hook. Shoot. Yo, I hate to keep bumming tackle off of you, but do you by chance have those little grip pins for the teasers? Grip pins. Let me check. I don't, but you can take them off of my, of my A rig. How many do you need? Just two. These two? Thanks. follower. Dang it. What's that, man? Yo, I'm gonna make a run up the creek if you want to join me. Yeah, yeah. I'll be right there. I'll, I'll, I'll follow you. Okay. See ya. All right, so, um, 113. It's tough for me, man. How about you? What's going on, Damien? Tough for me, too, man. It's, it is kind of like fishing like how it is, you know? It's tough. It's either gonna be really good or it's gonna be really tough, man. It's tough. We found some fish, just not the right kind. Man, like I don't know. Like what do you what do we what do you do in this situation? Just keep grinding. Hopefully we find a school that's active and feeding and Yeah. Hopefully we're gonna go open these back of these creek and see if they're chasing bait up here. If not, we can go back. The wind's blowing good, so hopefully the bait is being pushed pretty well right now. So Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Got a double digit. That's not good. It's time. It is time. Time has come to pull out the big guns. One technique I know when things get super duper tough. Any luck? No, you? No, I'm tying on a drop shot. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm getting pretty desperate. <laughs> I think most of, my, most of my activity might be out towards the main stuff, huh? Could be, yeah. You want to go back? Yeah. Seems like at least out there they were chasing, you know? Let me just finish this tie up and I'll... Or I can catch up with you, actually. Well, it's about 2.30 right now, guys. It has been extremely tough for both Damien and I, but... We got probably a few more hours here, I'd say. And uh, I don't know about myself, but I have confidence Damien's gonna figure something out. He's moving and grooving. He's looking at his graphs. He's trying different baits. A lot of stuff that I would do, but I'd, I'd put some pretty good money that uh, Damien's gonna stumble upon something and we'll get on some fish before this day's over. <gasps> oh God. One big one just followed it up too. Darn. Here we 
we go. Take off the way. That took a very long time. What? <laughs> you know what? I am very happy to have him. He's a little smally. <laughs> Ooh, I'm happy to have him, man. Thanks, buddy. Man, it's such a tough day today. This fish, it's just, it's hard to get him to bite. I'm throwing everything at him. There's a ton of bait, you know. Right now, they're not even chasing the bait. There's just bait all over the all over the place right now. Nothing's chasing. So I kind of went to the jig. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Got him. <laughs> Number three boated. <laughs> Look at him. Giants, just giants today. It's amazing. First cast, I see a three pounder. Look at all of them. Two big ones right there. Or, you know, it's like two, two pounder and a three pounder. Just coming and looking at the depths. It's like, you know they're there, they're just not biting. That might be, oh no. Oh, dang it, something hit it. All up in this tree. He is stolen. Oh my god. That was a miracle we caught that fish. Wow, we actually went caught one that might be a keeper. And it's a smallmouth. <laughs> what a grind of a day it's been. It's a pretty fish. What a grind. That's what it was stuck in that tree. I can't believe we got him out. <laughs> Feels like a giant. Oh man, we're on the bronze backs. Look at the size of that smallmouth. <laughs> Getting them? Like a couple of dinks. Yeah, same here. Any keepers? <laughs> I don't know, maybe 11 and a half? <laughs> <laughs> so brutal, dude. Did you get any keepers or no? I don't think so. <laughs> well, what do you think? Let, let's hit that point right there and then we'll call it a day. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You on a jig? <laughs> a little squeaker. Well guys, 6.30 and uh, I think we're calling it a day, man. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, not exactly what we expected. Oh man, it was rough. We caught some, uh, some good quality fish, just not the right kind of fish. <laughs> and you can find something. And man, I thought that was a giant wolf pack of spotted bass, but it turns out they were just giant squall fish. Still fun to catch. The bite was really tough, and that's generally how this, this lake kind of fishes. It's either gonna be really good or really tough. And we did find a lot of fish, it's just they weren't eating. A lot of suspended fish in around 10 feet, sitting at about maybe 
60, 70 feet, but they're sitting suspended in about 10 feet. They're chasing bait. They're just not really being aggressive, not really feeding. And it was just tough. It was tough, but that's impressive that you still, I mean, that's, again, like I said, Damien does so good out here. And I mean, you're really good with your electronics. So you knew what they were doing, just with the last piece of the puzzle, getting them to eat. That just was the, the, the hard part. Th those fish, those are the kind of fish that you kind of want to really be targeting because those are the fish that are not pressured. If you're able to get on a bite, especially on game day, you, you can win tournaments. Those are tournament winning fish. Um, they're not very pressured. If you can get them to go, you have all those fish to yourself. And they're actually kind of hard to chase, but if you get five of those bites, that's a good bag. Yeah. Ah, guys, that's going to do it. But you know what? We're not satisfied. We're definitely going to link up again and uh, take on another lake at some point. But uh, man, thanks for uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks hey, for, thanks uh, for having me, man. It yeah. was fun. It, it was, was fun. Uh, It was due. So uh, <laughs> next time we will, I'm assuming, I should say we will, but who knows? Next time I think it'll be uh, probably better fishing. It's kind of weird right now. Fall transition just had a full moon. Thanks to Damien for coming out and uh, being part of this video. I'm going to link his YouTube in the description below. Yeah, as always, guys, thank you for coming along, for watching. We'll see you another day, right? Yep. Another day. See ya. <laughs>